I remember going to a different place mentally. God! God! Not believing for a moment that this actually happened. 2007, this is a trip. Division II National Championships, Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh my goodness. So he goes to the free throw line with a chance to tie the game and misses the free throw. And my thought process is, all right, great job just to get back into it, but Winona State's gonna go to the line and they're just gonna seal this thing. Didn't happen that way. Well, he missed it badly. Second one. He knocks it down. 10 seconds left, down by two. The drive, reverse, oh, what a play! Atkinson gets to the rim, reverse layup, crazy finish. So you think, all right, Winona State, chance to win. At the very least, if you're Barton, you've gotten the opportunity to play in overtime for the national championship. Let's see what unfolds. Anthony Atkinson has tied it up. Four seconds left. Melvin, stay away. He's got time. Atkinson, layup. Good. Good. Anthony Atkinson at the buzzer. This is insane. Literally steal layup with no time remaining with the championship on the line. And then you get intertwined in history. Dan Bonner and I worked the game. Dan and I had not done many games together, and we feel this kinship. To this day, we still text one another. Whenever there's a great ending in a basketball game, we say, but it wasn't Winona State Park. That was a different level, truly. The little team that could. Barton College from Wilson, North Carolina. Enrollment of 925 full-time students are the NCAA Division II National Champions. Amidst the celebration, this is something I also recall, somebody from Barton threw their jersey high up in the air and it landed right on top of a Winona State player. Just to add insult to injury. What about these shorts? <laughs> the shorts were something. 2007, this was acceptable to wear some kind of large bag. They were a little too big, carnival-like thing. 